everyone, it's Ziggy here from Look 10 Years Younger and I'm going to share with you today some of my experiences using a derma roller, skin needling. You want to find out how this tool that looks like a torture tool works and does it help your skin? Stay tuned. Okay everyone, so as part of my beauty makeover year, um, I've been trying a ton of different things as you all know and one of the things that I really wanted to try was the Derma Roller which is a skin needling tool. Now I'll put it up close so that you can see. I don't know if you can make out the little needles on that and it rolls. Now, the idea behind derma rolling or skin needling is that um, it, it, you roll it over your face and it produces tiny micro wounds in the skin. Really, really tiny, tiny wounds in the skin and that induces collagen growth as the skin repairs itself. And of course that helps to strengthen the skin, to make it smoother, to reduce wrinkles and when it's done under medical supervision it can also heal acne scars as well. Now this particular derma roller that I have is a doctor roller um, that I got. It is 0.05 millimeters so this one is okay for home use. Now they do go all the way up to three millimeters. Please, please don't use anything above 0.05 millimeters on your own. Anything above that needs to be done by a well-trained beauty technician and anything above one and a half millimeters needs to be done by a cosmetic medical practitioner. Uh, at that level, they will apply to your skin Emla or Lignocaine or, or some other form of uh, local anaesthetic to numb your skin because seriously, you are rolling really big needles into your skin. You would need that. You would also need the degree of infection control and care uh, that can only be provided by a medical practitioner uh, at that level. But for home use, let's talk about home use. This is the 0.05 as I mentioned so it's okay for home use and what I'm going to do in um, a moment is take all of my makeup off and I'll just kind of show you how I do it. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it would take five minutes to do that um, and it, you know that's as boring as backdroppings me just sitting here doing this um, but I'll show you how that's done in a little while. Uh, now collagen can take about four weeks to begin to synthesize from type three to type two. And um, when it goes from type three to type two, that means that it's producing a layer of collagen underneath your uh, top layer of skin that's much more smooth in its, um, uh, in its skeletal fashion, if you like. As we get older, our collagen not only dissipates and doesn't uh, repair itself anymore, but it ends up just being like this, all messy underneath the, the um, epidermis of our skin. And that's no good if we want to hide wrinkles, if we don't want wrinkles, or if we've got acne scarring. What we're aiming for is a nice thick layer of um, collagen that's beautifully uh, layered like that and that's what needling your skin does. Whenever you have um, a wound to the skin, the immune and um, the repair system of the body jumps in and as part of that it creates new collagen. Does this give you instant results? Absolutely not. Don't expect instant results at all. This is a longer term uh, project that you need to do once maybe twice a week with that needle length um, and you need to do it on a continued basis for several months before you'll see any difference. Best to do this before you go to bed at night so you do it on really really clean skin. Um, you make sure that this is sterilized every single time that you use it. You sterilize it before and you sterilize it after. That is incredibly important. You can also use this to help products 
get deeper into the skin because you're causing tiny little micro wounds in there you can get some product right into those micro wounds so some people are asking does it hurt uh, at 0.05 millimeters no but if you went to 0.75 or above then I'm a bit of a wuss I have to say but it, yeah it it's pretty uncomfortable by the time you get to there you need to be really careful over delicate skin under those eyes please please be really careful with that um, but at 0.05 no it doesn't hurt so stay tuned I'm going to take my makeup off and I'll show you all how that's done in a tip okay so I'm back uh, no makeup totally bare face now really important before you do so I'm not going to make this as an actual tutorial I'm just going to show you what I'm doing and I need to make sure that you understand that I don't expect you all to do this I'm not telling you to do this I'm just showing you what I'm doing um, for me I make sure that my skin is thoroughly thoroughly cleansed there's absolutely no makeup or anything on my skin at all um, I've also disinfected my roller with um, rubbing alcohol and I dipped it left it in alcohol for quite some time to make sure that it is thoroughly clean and I'm going to take it out of that alcohol now and let the alcohol dry off now um, when you do the derma rolling you do it in a cross hatch pattern so you go up and down and four times one two three four and then across one two three four and then diagonal one two three four and then the other diagonal one two three four now um, what you can do if you want to use your derma roller to help product into the skin you can put product on the skin first so that product for instance might be a really good um, a serum that's got peptides or niacinamides or you know other really good products that your particular skin needs at that time um, don't use AHAs or tretinoins retin-A's or BHAs before or after you use this you don't want those to get sunk right into your skin so when you're using it just to get product into your skin you're using it to get moisture and good stuff into your skin like those niacinamides and the peptides um, vitamin C for instance vitamin B I choose not to put that on first I choose to put it on after I've done the cross hatching so I'll do the cross hatching then I'll put a really nice serum or two on my skin then I will moisturize it and then I'll go to bed so um, I'll show you what I do here I've got my mirror here so I'm going to be going in that using the mirror and I'm going to start off here and I go one two three four 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 diagonally one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and literally you just do that all across your face takes about five or ten minutes or so um, I'll just do that off camera and then I'll come back and talk to you when I've done that okay everyone back again I've done it it took me probably five or six minutes to go all the way across my face and I actually did my neck as well because um, that's a little bit crepey um, how does it feel right now it feels hot feels a little bit like it does sometimes when you've got um, a little bit of a sun tan you know maybe you've slightly burnt your skin a little bit so it feels a little bit warm um, but other than that it's it's not painful or anything at all it's uncomfortable to do the roller particularly over bony areas you know um, here I find here a little bit uncomfortable but it's more slightly itchy than um, that it doesn't hurt um, so now I'm going to put some serum into my skin I'm going to moisturize it and then I'll leave it for the night now some of you might be asking have I seen a difference yet well it's way too early to tell this is only the second time I've actually ever done it uh, so I've done it twice this week and I'll do it twice a week for the next um, eight weeks or so and we'll see if it makes a difference so stay tuned and I'll tell you then
So thanks for watching. I'll let you know how it goes. Until then, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and also the like button. And um, I'd love to hear from you about whether you've done skin needling, derma rolling. Please comment below and tell me what your experiences have been with this as well. So I look forward to seeing you in my next video. So until then, take care. Bye for now.